Assalamualaikum and hi, I'm Siti Nur Shahada Miti Azhar. As you can see on the screen right now, is the main page of our system, Utam Health Clinic System. So, on our main page, there is Home, About, Appointment, Contact, and Login. For login, you will first have to choose whether you want to log in as the admin or as the doctor or as the patient. So, um, for a patient to log into the system, they will first have to have an account, which means they will have to create it. They will have to sign up for it. Okay? Uh, so, for them to sign up an account to see the doctors in our UTEM clinic, they will go to this main page and press appointment and proceed to log insert into their details put their details in and the password their gender their date of birth the appointment that they want to meet the doctor and the time Okay, and which department? So, now put their reasons here and make an appointment. Once they press make an appointment, it means they already have an account that they could log into from here, log in patient. However, uh, what I want to show is from the admin's viewpoint. So, uh, from the admin's point of view, you can see that here, at here, patient, view patient records, there's at the patient that we just created an account just now. Okay, she's in here with three others. Now, we will proceed to back up all data inside this uh, system right now. Okay. It will download and save it in our computer here this here and then uh, let's say that we accidentally deleted X account now there's only uh, other patients records with X so we can just back up and restore here choose file and restore the latest one restore it Okay, press buy and then from the view patient records, you'll see that ad is here again. Okay, but uh, to store our a lot of backups, uh, we choose to store it in cloud, Google Cloud Platform we use as our cloud storage. So in our cloud storage, we'll upload files and press the latest backup in here open and it will upload into the cloud storage okay now it's here and let's say that we again suddenly in whatever magical it is um, ads record got deleted again and at the same time our PC, our computer also crash, which means that the backup uh, stored in our computer is gone. Okay, so uh, if that's the case, then we will open the Google Cloud Platform, download the latest um, backup. It will download to us and it will be located inside our PC again. And so we'll do the same process again. Choose file, choose to back up the latest one, open and restore it. Back, view patient records. And now you can see that app is also in here. Her record is back again in our view patient records. That's all for me. Thank you. I will cover admin part uh, so this is our admin dashboard we have total patient total doctor total administrator clinic learning 
and percentage of vaccinated in U10 by chart. In sidebar, we have profile, appointment, doctors, patient, treatment, pharmacy, and backup and restore. Uh, profile, uh, admin profile, uh, admin can update their profile details. In change password, uh, admin can change their password. Uh, admin uh, can add another admin by filling up these details. Next, in view admin, uh, admin can view available admin uh, appointment. Uh, in new appointment, uh, admin can book appointment for any inpatient. Uh, next, uh, in view pending appointment, uh, admin can view this patient details and check their COVID symptom record and action to either approve or decline this appointment. Uh, next, in view approved appointment, uh, it will show uh, patient details and status approved and action to view report patient. In patient report panel, uh, in prescription record, admin can assign medicine uh, to this patient. For example, this patient needs acetaminophen, uh, admin can add, fill up this detail and the prescription record uh, will be recorded here. Next, in view patient report. Uh, next, uh, for billing report, admin can view a uh, billing report for this patient and also to manage uh, payment for this patient. They will show here. Uh, admin can manage payment for this patient record by entering a uh, payable amount and discount if uh, if available and submit uh, in doctor part uh, admin can add a new doctor by fill up this detail uh, next uh, admin can uh, view available doctor and patient uh, admin can register a new patient by filling up this detail And next, uh, view patient record. Admin can view patient record and either to add to update or delete and view report. In treatment, uh, admin can add a new room by filling up this detail and view uh, available room uh, in our UTEM Health Clinic. So, and next. Uh, Admin can add a new treatment type. Next, uh, admin can uh, view treatment types. And here, I uh, have shown uh, our available treatment uh, record uh, that available for uh, this UTEM Health Clinic. Next, in pharmacy, we have register medicine. Uh, admin can register new medicine and the medicine registration list will be shown here, manage supplier, admin can add supplier and the, the supplier list will be shown here. And next are uh, purchase medicine, admin can purchase medicine from available supplier and the purchase medicine record will be shown here. Admin can show medicine and show receipt. In ready stock medicine, uh, it will show uh, available medicine in our pharmacy. Uh, if uh, the quantity fall uh, below twenty, it will stay as low stock, and admin can buy a new stock for this medicine. In expired medicine, uh, admin can view med expired medicine quantity, expired date, and action to delete this record. Next, for backup and restore, will be covered uh, in another part. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera to my supervisor and my evaluator So today I will be showing the patient and doctor part of the system So my my system is Sultan Health Clinic system So this is the dashboard of the, the patient So here the patient can see the registration history and also the appointment history the user, the patient also can view the profile, the patient profile, and also change the password 
if they they forgot the password or the patient also can make an appointment as you can see here the user must get in their COVID-19 COVID self checkup before making an appointment so I will be showing step by step of making an appointment for the patient so after they inserted the COVID-19 self checkup the user is eligible to make an appointment but before before having an appointment, the doctor must approve the appointment by viewing the COVID-19 history first. Then, from here, the patient can see the appointment records that had been that has been made. So, as you can see, the status of the latest uh, appointment is pending, and the status will be changed after the doctor approved or rejected the appointment and then moving to the prescription records so here are the prescription records for the patient the patient can see the prescription record after the doctor add the prescription record for the patient seems to treatment record the treatment record will only be shown after the, the doctor added a new treatment record for the patient and then lastly for the symptom history the patient can see their symptom history of COVID-19 self checkup that has been made before making an appointment that's all for uh, patient uh, patient patient user so here are the doctor panel of the system so as you can see, I am logged in as Dr. Sheikh Ali. So Dr. Sheikh Ali has a new appointment, a number of patients for and today's appointment is zero. So the doctor can view the doctor's profile and also change the password. The doctor also can view the pending appointments that has been made by the patient. Doctor, the doctor can view the COVID-19 system through patient report panel where all the symptoms of the patient will be shown and then the doctor also can approve the appointment and also decline if they have the, the reasonable reason if the, approve, if the doctor approve the patient will be attending the appointment and if the doctor decline the appointment the patient will, will be I will not be able to attend the appointment and then for the doctor's view appointment the doctors can view the approved appointment that has been made by the patients so as you can see the status are approved and the action that can be made here are view the report of the patients so here all the patients information as you can see COVID symptom appointment record that has been made by the patient treatment record will be added by the doctor after the after the appointment has been approved so if the doctor added the new treatment uh, the doctor must key in all the treatment description and also the treatment dates and time and then submit and then the doctors also must add the prescription record for the patient after uh, approving the appointment for for the patients to read after uh, after being appointed by the doctor and lastly the doctor can see the billing report that has been given to the patient after the treatment and prescription record are being filled by the doctor and then the doctor also can view the patient's record and also view the treatment records and lastly the doctor can view the available treatments by the health clinic system that's all for doctor's panel thank you